6th of June, 1944. D-Day. The largest seaborne invasion in history. Hundreds of thousands of troops from the Allied nations, including men from Britain, America and Canada, crossed the English Channel and landed on the French beaches of Normandy. The aim was to liberate France and the rest of Western Europe from the occupation of the German army. That day was the beginning of the end of the Second World War. Behind this wall in southwest London is a curious memorial to the planning of that day. Relatively unknown and hiding in plain sight, this is the hidden memorial to D-Day. This is Bushy Park. I'm in southwest London, just behind Hampton Court Palace, and I'm next to an entrance to the park called Shafe Gate. There'll be more on the name of that gate later. This part of Bushy Park is mostly open ground, with a few trees, but it has a direct link to the Second World War, and specifically, the events of D-Day. Bushy Park was used as a camp for American servicemen from the US Air Force who were stationed here during the Second World War. The camp was a large one, occupying the northeast corner of the park and it was home to almost 8,000 troops during the war. The Central Road, Chestnut Avenue, was used as a runway for aircraft and there were plenty of activities for the men to keep them occupied, including sports arenas and a cinema, not to mention the local Hampton girls who flocked to the camp. On a very personal note, my wife's grandmother is believed to have been one of those local girls and my mother-in-law is the end result of one of those wartime romances. The Americans were there long after the war ended, finally leaving in the 1960s when all of the remaining buildings were demolished. The memorial that we're here to see is not easy to find. Dwight Eisenhower was the supreme commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force and this brick pavement laid out on the grass indicates the location of his office, the supreme headquarters of the Allied Expeditionary Force, or Schaaf. Hence the name of the gate. Eisenhower's office was only located there for three months, March, April and May 1944, but it was those three months that were crucial in the planning of the D-Day landings. The office was moved there from the American Embassy in Grosvenor Square, and then, on the 2nd of June, just four days before the invasion, the headquarters moved down to the coast, Southwark House in Portsmouth, as the harbour would be the embarkation point for many of the troops. Eisenhower would later become the 34th President of the United States, serving two terms of office from 1953 to 1961, when he was succeeded by John F. Kennedy. On a tragic postscript, the name of the camp in Bushy Park, Camp Griffiths, was named after the first US officer to die during the war in the European theater. Lieutenant Colonel Townsend E. Griffiths was 41 years old on the 15th of February, 1942, when he was killed after his plane was shot down over the English Channel. Unfortunately for everyone involved, it was actually friendly fire that brought the plane down. It was Polish pilots serving in the RAF who mistook his unfamiliar American B-24 Liberator bomber for a Falk Wolf 200 from the Luftwaffe and shot it down off the coast of Cornwall. The body of Griffiths and his fellow crewmen were never recovered. In honour of his memory, the camp was named Camp Griffiths and he was also posthumously awarded the US Distinguished Service Medal. You can also find the memorial to the US Air Force a short distance away. It is inscribed with the words, It is through fraternity that liberty is saved. It was installed by the RAF to honour their comrades who were stationed at Bushy Park and also to commemorate the Berlin airlift which was organised from the US base. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on the Offbeat London channel.